Hey, don't touch that. Not unless you think you're tough enough to track down the man I'm hunting. Everything I know is in that logbook. I'd find him myself if I had the money to get back on the waves. But for now, I'm just another landlubber selling tours. Ah, Captain Capsize. I see you've already settled in and started making friends. I don't want friends. What I want is someone willing to drag that pirate pretender back to reality. Then he can have a long and meaningful conversation with the sole of my boot. Which won't happen unless you take the time to explain our situation. A while ago, I invited a pirate named Guy Brush Threepwood and his wife Elaine to celebrate their honeymoon here on the Sea of Thieves. You mean a fraud named Guybrush Threepwood? Though I'd also accept liar, imposter, figurehead thief. Guybrush accepted my invitation, but his ship never arrived. After a while, I began to fear the worst. So I began making inquiries in the Sea of the Damned. And found me stuck there, sailing in circles in my old glass-bottomed boat. Something that looked like it anyway. A memory of yours made real by the Sea of the Damned. In that realm, people and places from long ago can come back to haunt you, mingling with all the hopes and dreams in your heart. I fear that Guybrush has become trapped in memories of his own. Memories of a distant pirate sanctuary known as Melee Island. If he is not rescued, he will remain sealed in a dream world for all eternity, surrounded by fragments of his past. That is why I have asked Kate to recruit pirates who are both willing and able to broach the Sea of the Damned and save Guybrush. And then everybody here will see what a pathetic dope he really is. It's a good plan. Think they can pull it off? I believe they can. Kate learned of Guy Brush's whereabouts, but was never able to reach him. You will be sailing into uncharted territory. On Melee Island, things may be very different from the Sea of Thieves you know. Which is why you should take my logbook. But don't lose it. Once Threepwood has been rescued, I'm going to make him eat every last page. You should keep an open mind, Kate. Out here, enemies can enter the same tavern and depart as friends. When it comes to Guybrush Threepwood, I don't need an open mind. Only a closed fist. Well, don't just stand there. Sail through that archway and find Threepwood. The logbook I gave you has everything you need to know. Dear Diary, 
Wow, what an incredible end to an amazing adventure. I outwitted the evil pirate LeChuck, caused an avalanche, kinda, and lived to tell the tale. Even better, Elaine and I finally got married, and all of our friends were there too. I don't think we've ever been happier. Now all we have to do is set a course and begin our honeymoon, sailing on the Sea of Thieves. To get there, we have to pass through the Devil's Shroud. Elaine says it's no big deal so long as we follow the map, but I don't know. I miss seeing the stars. I had the nightmare again. I wake up in our cabin. Elaine is gone. And at the end of my bed, LeChuck is there, laughing at me. It's crazy, I know. I left him buried back on Monkey Island, but why does it feel so real? I can almost hear the laughter. But when I did get back to sleep, I had a very different dream. I was back where it all began, on my quest to become a legendary pirate. Back at the start of my very first adventure. Aye. Aye. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic, stunning high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated... Not to mention the detailed animation and... Sorry, but on some... I... Is that fresh meat I spy? Tremble, mortal, before the mighty skulls of scum. It's been longer than a rat's tail since I last set me sockets on a would-be pirate. Though I could swear we've crossed paths before. But never mind all that. You'll be here to undertake the three trials, I'll wager. The three trials! <laughs> Aye, that takes me back. I want to be a mighty pirate. Where do I collect me hat? Well, if you're here to prove your worth to us, too bad. We're no longer in charge around here. Aye, and what would be the point? 
There's not a pirate wannabe alive who could hold a candle to the legend of Monkey Island. No, please, not the speech again. The mightiest pirate to ever weigh anchor! Scourge of the Caribbean, terror of the Tri-Island territories, master of a thousand insults! A man who could hold his breath for 60 minutes! Governor, Governor Guy Rush Threefwood! Ah, all that toasting of the governors made me thirsty. Time for some more grog! Grog, 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 grog! What be ye wanting? They say it lies east of here, but its exact location is a great mystery to all but the chosen few, including the governor and his wife, Elaine Marley. The whole of Monkey Island is surrounded by a strange mist that makes sailing there a treacherous prospect, unless you know exactly what you're doing. Oh, really? Well, most folks tended to have only the governor was brave enough to bring together a crew and make it all. It's just one more reason he's held. Hey, you shouldn't be back here. That's for kitchen staff only. Hey, you shouldn't be back here. Can't help you there. I've just hired a new assistant, and they should be starting today. Assuming they show up for work. I don't know what the delay is all about, but I hope they remember to pick up their uniform from the general store. I've had it reserved all week. Of course it matters. Cooking's a messy business, and you need to look the part. I just hope they get here soon. As soon as they arrive, I'm going on my break. Ahoy there, fancy pants. Now that's a special order. Some kind of cook uniform for the scum bar. Probably just a big apron in a s And where do you think you're going? <laughs> yeah, you and everyone else on the island. The governor's mansion is off limits to anyone who hasn't got an official invitation. Especially unwanted admirers like you. If you can't show me something to prove you're expected, you can turn right back around and skulk off like all the other pirate wannabes. Clear? Are you a visitor? It's been so long since I've had anyone but Captain Coco to talk to. Oh, there was a little misunderstanding after I came back from Monkey Island. I came in a little too fast and smashed up the jetty pretty bad. But it wasn't my fault! You ever try to sail a galleon crewed entirely by monkeys? They emptied out my bananas, ran off, and left me to take the blame! Sure have, but it's okay. I'm good friends with the legend of Monkey Island. I was even on his crew once. I'm sure he'll be along to let me out. Just as soon as he's finished his important, uh, you know, governor stuff. And it's not like I'm alone this time. Captain Coco and I keep one another company. If he didn't have me to talk to, he'd have lost his mind by now. That would be great. But I don't know how you would. The sheriff has all the keys, and I haven't seen him since the governor's guards moved in. 
I don't know, Otis. Those locks look pretty rusty. I... That is a great idea. Captain Coco, you are a certified genius. Oh, shucks. You say the nicest good luck. What be ye wanting? I assume you mean pieces of eight? That's the currency we trade in here on Melee Island, not gold or other such. The cook could have been persuaded to take you on, but he's already hired himself a new assistant, so you're out of luck there. Well, I'm sure if you keep your eyes peeled, you'll spot a few stray pieces of eight lying around that nobody will miss. Of course, a real pirate would notice more nefarious opportunities to fill their pockets. What are you looking at me for? Keep your greedy hands to yourself. Try that again, and you'll be joining the devil for supper. Hoy there, stranger. New in town? Sorry, but these items here, they're display models, not for sale. Hey, it's not my fault these Legend of Monkey Island action figures are hot property. My latest shipment got sunk down at the docks just as it arrived. Oh, then you need an exclusive Legend of Monkey Island meet and greet ticket. One of which I just so happen to have. Only one in existence. But I can tell just by looking at you that you can't afford such a sought-after item. Maybe we can work out some kind of deal. Tell you what. If you can bring me my missing cargo, I'll not only give you the ticket free of charge, I'll be able to sell you some other mementos. Deal? Deal. Now, get going.
Hey, that's my cargo. I thought it'd be fish food by now. Looks like I'm back in business. This meet and greet ticket will get you an audience with the legend of Monkey Island. Only one in existence, but I'd say you've earned it. And where do you think you're going? Oh, yeah? Let me see that. Uh, seems genuine. Funny, I thought we'd gotten rid... Uh, well, only one thing for it. <laughs> there. I booked you in for the next available session. Come back and speak to my colleague after the clock strikes midnight. <laughs> like that'll happen anytime soon. That clock tower hasn't worked... Hey, you! Yeah, you! Want to see something hilarious? There's a pack of piranha poodles in this alley that can't stand the sound of this thing! Watch! <laughs> oh, what's the matter? Can't you reach your lovely pony kittens? Go lay down. I said that's enough. We guard the governor now, not you pathetic pooches. So get used to it. Now move along and don't start any trouble. I'm on break. Your own snacks, you thieving pirate wannabe. Those will burn a hole in your tongue. Hey, get your own snacks, you thieving pirate wannabe. Those will burn a hole in your tongue. Ahoy there, fancy pants. That's the rubber chick. It's modeled. <laughs> Keep your hands off the display cases. I just polished them. Oh, so you're the new cook for the scum bar. Nice job burning down that cargo ship. Well, the costume was never paid for, so if you still have a job to go to, you'll need to settle the bill. Now, you best hurry before somebody else makes me an offer. Uh, there's a chest over there you can use to change clothes. Free of charge for paying customers. What? Turn my back so you can pocket whatever's in my safe? Whew, you must think I was born yesterday.
just a second. By order of the governor, mischievous potions and all forms of mojo magic are now banned here on Melee Island. That means this shop is permanently closed for business. Get it? Now move along. Oh, those poor doggies. <laughs> the governor's guard dogs get tormented by the guards, you see. They've lost all the fire in their little bellies. I bet if they scarfed down a hearty meal, they'd soon be back to their nasty old selves. <laughs> you lost? Well, then you come to the right pirates. We know pretty much everything that happens here on Melee Island. Yeah, then you're in luck. A ship full of valuables went down in the harbor here not so long ago. Of course, even if you could find a way to raise its cargo up out of the water, you'd need the proper tools to crack it open. Some parts of the town are still being renovated. Who knows? Maybe you can swipe what you need. You lost? Nope. At this time of night? Well, probably the only place with an open kitchen would be the scum bar. But good luck getting inside. The chef's a real stickler for the rules. If you're not the new assistant cook he's hired, you aren't getting anywhere near the cooking pot. Well, you could try begging a gunpowder gummy off of one of the governor's guards, but it might be the last thing you ever chew. <laughs> At this time, the chef's a real stickler for the rules. Well, you could try be- Let me guess. Another pirate wannabe looking for easy answers. Well, let me tell you something. We love pirate wannabes looking for easy answers. <laughs> I highly doubt it. The governor hired a man to wind the mechanism, but most days he falls asleep in the scum bar and forget. He's going to lose the clock tower key one of these days and then... Hoy there, stranger. Where's that blasted cook? My crew and I are... Where's that blasted cook? Hey, keep your great hands to yourself. Leave me be. What business do you have with us now? Speak up and be quick about it. Let me guess. I highly doubt it. The governor hired a man to wind the mechanism, but most days he falls asleep in the sky. He's going to lose the clock tower key one of these days, and then... Well, I suppose not... Let me guess. Another pirate wa- 
Uh, 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 uh. I don't think so, stranger. You say all these daft map shop no more, and that means it's off limits to... And since I don't see no uniform, and you also look like you're alive, I'm thinking that means you ain't exactly a... Ahoy there, fancy pants. Now that's a special order. Some kind of cook unit. Hey, get your own snacks, you thieving pirate wannabe. Those will burn a hole in your tongue. Gold's no good to me. If you want to buy something, you need to cough up pieces of eight. Hey, that transaction has been concluded. I got my cargo, you get your chance to schmooze with the legend of Monkey Island. Everything else will cost you. If you see something you like, <laughs> Oh, those poor dogs. You lost? Oh, and you're coming to the right pirates. We're ah, up by the island lookout, no question. There's a path. If the weather weren't so strange lately, you'd be able to... Not much reason to head up there, though. Unless you're planning to swindle a few pieces of eight out of the... You lost? Ah, up by the island lookout, no question. Hey, hey, get your sticky fingers off my money. Don't think I don't see you. Yikes, don't sneak up on me like that. 
My job, that's what. I'm the official lookout of Melee Island, appointed by Governor Squinky Thriftweed himself. It's my job to keep an eye out for storms, incoming ships, and so on, and report them directly to the Governor. <laughs> Your ship. No offense, but that's barely a rowboat compared to the sort of ships made famous by the legend of Monkey Island. <laughs> the Sea Monkey. Well, now, that was a ship worth talking about. A fearless crew, a gallant captain, and the largest cereal supply you've ever seen. You what? A ship, you say? Ooh, this could be serious. Well, whoever it was, they're gone now. Guess I'll keep my eyes open. Hands off. That key's for official town business only. Come to share a table with me? <laughs> How about... Back so soon? You've plenty of questions, I'll be bound. Tests by which a pirate might prove themselves worthy of the title. There were three to be faced, spread across Melee Island. Trouble was, once word began to spread about the legend of Monkey Island and all that he'd accomplished, the trials looked pretty feeble by comparison. That we did, but no matter how dangerous, deceitful, and despicable the trials became, not one of them held a candle to the governor's heroic deeds. Eventually, nobody could manage to complete the trials, and the whole system was abandoned. Better to seek the governor's blessing Back again? You're persistent, I'll give you that. What be ye wanting? I assume you mean pieces of eight. 
That's the currency we trade in. The cook could have been persuaded to take you on, but he's already hired himself a new assistant. Well, I'm sure if you keep your eyes peeled. Of course, a real pirate. What be ye? <laughs> What are you looking at me for? What are you looking at me? A drink? Well, you could wait for the cook to notice you. He has been rushed off his feet ever since word got out about the legend of Monk. He is convinced if he can find the right combination of ingredients, he can create... Well, I heard he'd hired an assistant, but they never showed up. For... Anyway, if you want grog, just find a mug and sneak into the kitchen. That is what we all do. Ahoy there, fancy pants. That's the mighty pirate sword used by the legend of Monkey Island. Well, it's a, a deluxe handmade replica, anyway. I got some fresh stock coming in, eventually. Those are fuses. You just put one end in something explosive, you set fire to the other end, and you put your fingers in your ears. Try not to blow yourself up, fancy pants. Are you a visitor? It's been that would be great! But I don't know how you would. The share I don't know, Otis. Those locks look pretty rusty. I bet you could blow them wide open. That is a great Oh shock good luck! your own snacks, you thieving pirate wannabe. Those will burn a hole in your tongue.
Gold's no good to me. If you want to buy something, you need to... Nope. The Tri Island Chamber of Commerce specifically banned gold-based transactions in case cursed currency somehow makes its way into the ecosystem. I heard there was this one ship where the crew... It... Well, anyway, only authentic silver pieces are eight, a legal tender on Melee Island. What do I look like? A career advisor? Come back when you've got something to spend. Oh, and before you ask, I am fresh out of treasure maps. <laughs> oh, those poor doggies. <laughs> what you do, see, you wait for your shipmate to get distracted. Then you pour some grog from your tankard into theirs without them catching you. They'll be snoring before you know it. That's when you... You lost? Well, then you come to the right pirates. We know pretty much everything that happened. Well, then you're in luck. A ship full of valuables went down in the harbor here not so long. Of course, even if you could find a way to raise its cargo up out of the water, you'd need the proper tools. To... Some parts of the town are still being renovated. Let me guess. Another pirate wannabe look- Ah, night owl, eh? Well, the general store's a little ways down the- Well then, here's a little tip from me to you. Pirates can't help but squirrel away their spare change. It's sort of what you might call one of those compulsive reflexes. You should check all the crates and barrels you find. You never know when you'll stumble upon someone else's pieces of eight. <laughs> of course we are! Salty old pirates through and through. But on Melee Island, that's to be expected. Most folks don't bat an eyelid at day-to-day -day skullduggery and the occasional keel hauling. Now, the really rotten apples, they get taken to the town jail. <laughs> that old place has seen better days, though. I'm amazed the walls haven't collapsed. They say the governor hired someone to fix up the place. Last time I saw him, he was having an argument with the guards. So they didn't want to. Eventually, they dragged him away and there was a ruckus. Lots of screaming and falling and such like. The poor sap never even got to pack away his tools. Ahoy there, fancy pants.
Oh, so you finally decided to show up, huh? Well, you can make yourself useful and start on the meat stew. The recipe's on the table. I'm going on my break. Don't let the customers touch anything. Especially not the grog.
bother me right now. I would be. Start trouble. Get back in your cage. Dummies for the lot of you. Are you a visitor? It's been... That would be great! I don't know, Otis. That is a great idea! Oh, shucks! Use good luck! Funny, I thought we'd gotten rid... Uh, there, 
I've booked you in for the next available session. Come back and speak to my colleague after the clock strikes midnight. What the? Uh, well, the, the, the thing is, it's a uh, uh, shift change. Yeah, that's right, shift change. I can't let you through because then my colleague, who is unfortunately delayed, would take the blame if anything happened. See? Sorry, but until my replacement arrives for an official handover, you're staying here. Ahoy there, fancy pants. Those are fuses. You just put one end in something explosive, you set fire to the other end, and you put your fingers in your ears. Try not to. Are you a visitor? It's been so long since I've had anyone, but that would be great! But I don't know how you- I don't know, Otis. Those locks look pretty rusty. I bet you could blow them wide open. That is a great idea! Oh, shucks! You say the nicest things. Good luck! And where do you think you're going? <laughs> yeah. The governor's man. If you can't show me. And where do you. Th oh, yeah? Uh, there. What the? I can't let you through. Sorry, but until. Yes. 
enemies. Hey, I don't believe it. Freedom after all these years. Ah, the smell of the sea, the touch of the moonlight. We are free, Captain Coco. Mwah! Hooray! Now we can do all the things we ever dreamed of. Travel the world, see the pyramids. Open a furniture store! Well, I mean, not that. That's pretty silly, but we can start over, build new lives for ourselves. Like running a furniture store. Hey, enough with the furniture store! I didn't spend all that time locked up just to collect chairs. I want to have an adventure. And I want to sell nested mahogany tables at affordable prices. Hey, that's stupid! You're stupid! You know what? Fine. Stay here and have your stupid furniture store. I hope it makes you happy. I just... I really... I thought we were friends. And where do you think you're... That skull alone, he's got a job to do. Hey, you leave that skull alone, he's got a job to do. again and you'll be joining the devil for supper.
business do you have with us now? Speak up, and be quick about it. Well, maybe that holds true somewhere like the Sea of Thieves. But pirates in these parts hold themselves to a different standard. Time was, you could earn the approval of the pirate leaders here by completing their three trials. But that was then, and this is now. The only way they'll respect you is if the governor himself declares you to be a worthy pirate. <laughs> Good luck with that. Threepwood's not set foot out of that mansion for almost a year. His guards keep things running smoothly. Of course. What could happen to the legend of Monkey Island? If you ask me, he and his missus are off on some grand adventure. And if you ask me, Threepwood's gotten himself locked in a closet somewhere. And good riddance. Just ignore him. If anyone knows how to meet the governor, it'll be that set of salty sea dogs over yonder. If you've yet to do so, you should go and say hello. What be ye wanting? They say it lies east of here, but its exact location is a great mystery to all but the chosen few, including the governor and his wife, Elaine Marley. The whole of Monkey Island is surrounded. Oh, really? Only the. It's just. Now that's the sort of question I'd expect from a pirate wannabe. Melee Island is pretty much wall to wall rogues and scoundrels. Granted, more than a few folks have retired from a life on the high seas and taken up other lines of work where they can. But pretty much everyone you'll rub shoulders with has flown the Jolly Roger at one time or another. And none of us are ashamed to admit it. Well, why should it? Governor Threepwood is in charge now, and there's no pirate more lawless, lethal, and larcenous than he. The days of being clapped in irons by the local sheriff are long gone, and it's all thanks to the legend of Monkey Island. Don't bother me. I would be. Back so soon? You've plenty of questions, I'll be bound. Tests by which a pirate might prove themselves worthy. The trouble was, once word began to spread about the legend of Monkey Island, and all that it accomplished, that we did. But eventually... Fancy pants. That's a cute stuffed toy modeled after the three-headed monkey of Monkey Island. Very popular with kids and animals, or so I'm told.
Rocky! Don't be ridiculous. You must think we were born yesterday. You'll need to do better than that to fool us, Bone Brain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you leave that skull alone. What He's be ye wanting? What business do you have with it? What business? What business do you have with us now? Speak up and be quick about it. Hey, you leave that skull alone. Back again? You're persistent, I'll give you that. Back so soon? You have plenty of questions, I'll be... What be ye wanting? Hey, what are you doing? I was just getting comfortable. Although... If this is about getting to Threepwood, I'm in. I've got a score to settle. But first, I'll need some kind of body. But not just any body. A magnificent body, worthy of bearing my terrifying demonic countenance on a new campaign of terror and destruction! <laughs> Hey, seeing all these ghostly guards gives me an evil idea. If you can get me a new body, I could pretend to be one of them and sneak you into Threepwood's place. What do you say? There's got to be a convenient corpse lying somewhere around here. At last. My new reign of demonic terror can... Oh, 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 ah, ah, easy now. It's, uh, been a while since I had limbs to worry about. All right, here we go. I'm getting the hang of this. Let's get you into that mansion. Now, marvel at my mastery of impersonation. Guards, I be. I be adoring the legend of Monkey Island so much, and. and. oh, forget it.
Well, that about does it for my shift. You know what to do. Keep everyone out of the mansion at all costs. No exceptions. Yeah, yeah. Do I tell you how to do your job? You okay, Walt? You sound weird. Oh, uh, uh, it's um, the allergies. You know, from the poodles. Oh, right. Stupid mutts almost took a bite out of me last week. Our diabolical scheme is working perfectly. Get up to the mansion and find Threepwood. I'll keep watch. What are you waiting for? Go find Threepwood. So, we meet again. Then you must know why I'm here. It's my grandfather's map, isn't it? You want to find the treasure. Don't you see? You're the only treasure I need, Plunder Bunny. I'm here to rescue you. My hero. Oh, you're the greatest pirate who ever... Go away, please. Not today, thank you. Important governatorial business going on. I told you, no more autographs. Leave me alone. Would you be quiet? My wife is sleeping. Ah! Look, Lutikins, we have company. They must want to hear all about your courageous deeds. Oh, but honey pumpkin, I'm busy with my memoirs. I can't be disturbed or I'll miss my deadline. Now, now, we mustn't be rude. And look, they have a meet and greet ticket. Oh, all right. Welcome to the official Legend of Monkey Island meet and greet event. Your once in a lifetime chance to hear all the seafaring adventures of the mighty pirate Guybrush Threepwood. Straight from the legend himself. No food or drink permitted during the event. Please keep your hands and feet inside the mansion at all times. The trial and authorities are not responsible for any loss of property, injury, or death incurred during the presentation. The legend begins right here on Melee Island. On the day of my arrival, the pirate leaders immediately recognized my natural talents. And so did Governor Marley, who was instantly swept off her feet. Unfortunately, there was one pirate who refused to acknowledge my obvious greatness. The ghost pirate LeChuck, who was also smitten with Elaine and spirited her away to the mysterious Monkey Island. Gathering a loyal crew and the finest ship available, I sailed in search of LeChuck's pirate lair. Having single-handedly concocted a powerful root beer to destroy ghost pirates, I cornered LeChuck and gave him the biggest spritzing of his afterlife. I kept the bottle. It's one of my most treasured possessions. Unfortunately, it's true what they say. You can't keep an undead, obsessive, vindictive, demonic sea scourge down. I had to tangle with LeChuck again before finally ridding the world of his evil once and for all. I returned to Monkey Island triumphant, married my beloved Elaine, and we set sail on our honeymoon. Then, uh, um, well, but then, we, um, why can't I remember? And what was with that weird fog anyway? Did I, um, anyway, uh, once everyone learned of my heroic deeds, they insisted I become governor of Melee Island. And that concludes your premium meet and greet session. Cheers. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, be sure to check out our exclusive merchandise. Yeah, we have gifts for for the whole family. Oh, and please leave quietly. My wife is very, very sleepy.
up anchor, you barnacle brain buffoons, and prepare to make land. There's treachery afoot. Well, well, what have we here? An unwanted intrusion into my masterful delusion. Threepwood always was pathetically easy to manipulate. One side convinced him he was a mighty pirate hero. His raging ego made all this possible. So long as he believes he's the legend of Monkey Island, he'll never want to leave this place. And it's all thanks to this. Pirates on your precious sea of thieves practically tripped over themselves to deliver me this sword. They couldn't wait to help their beloved pirate lord. It's not about the gold. It's about the glory. Oh, the sea of thieves is such a special place. Where a sickeningly sweet stories can last for all eternity. And once this burning blade is restored, those waters will be mine to rule as I see fit. <laughs> so you see, I really can't let you stand in my way. Fortunately, my skeletal shipmates have gotten mighty restless keeping watch on Threepwood. I'm sure they'll take good care of you while I set sail for Monkey Island. <laughs> you must be even darker than you look. You must be even darker than you look. Stop it!
thanks to you, Luchuk has withdrawn, and Rootbeer has rid this place of his evil influence. The power of Mojo can return at last. We have much to discuss, but I sense you may have unfinished business here on Mele Island. When you are ready to depart, return to me here. I shall be waiting. Hey now, supply. We have much to discuss, but I sense you may have unfinished business here on Mele Island. That's fresh stock. We have much to discuss. As you have learned, the memory of this island has become a prison for Guybrush. A cage crafted from his own vanity and given life by the Sea of the Damned. He is so beguiled, he does not even notice the absence of his wife. But Guybrush and Elaine are not the only ones in peril. LeChuck has come to know the Sea of Thieves, and envies the power and status of its pirate lord. If he is not stopped, then he will continue to seek that power for himself. But LeChuck's lair lies deep beneath Monkey Island, and only Guybrush knows the way. Do not lose hope. There is a way to clear the head and free the heart of Guybrush Threepwood, but it will take time to prepare. There are those in the living world who will wish to know all that you now know. I shall send them word of my plan. And when the time is right, 
I sense they will seek your help once more. For now, I shall return you to your ship. Guybrush owes you a great debt of gratitude. Next time we meet, I shall make certain he repays it. <laughs>